you have seen that this is uh, the nail biting habit is usually seen in many pupils, especially uh, the adult group as well as the children. Actually, this is a very very bad habit, and it can lead to a lot of medical illnesses later on. Those people who are eating their nails can get definitely some viral bacterial infection in their body as well as in the hand. Some of the people used to bite the um, skin. That so skin is a protective barrier which protects you from invading some microorganism into your body. So what happens that uh, when you do so, uh, some virus or bacteria usually enters over there and causes you uh, some kind of infection over this area. Human saliva sometimes also contain the herpes virus virus then that can also infect uh, uh, over your nail and sometimes the staph aureus etc can cause you the peronychia etc and th the problem is not limited to your nails or skin it also related to your teeth it also damages your teeth and as well as sometimes the infection can be so much severe that it can lead to the skin cancer also those people who are you know, who used to eat their skin are known as uh, wolf eaters, wolf biters. So, uh, medical term is dermatophage, dermatophagia, and it is uh, usually a kind of OCD, that is obsessive compulsive disorder. So, you must try to prevent it. Otherwise, in future, you can have the um, OCD symptoms. Remember how much dangerous this uh, disease is. So the treatment that you can uh, do and that you can uh, do it at your home is that take a garlic, peel that and apply over your nails early in the morning so that uh, by unknowingly when you, uh, the finger will come near your mouth you will have a smell and you will get that sensation that you can avoid that or you can use transparent bitter nail polish that you can apply over your nails. So. And one more thing, one important point that I want to say, uh, I was seeing my nails and there was a little white spot there. Now you can't see. This white spot, uh, most of the people use many uh, things because of uh, some calcium deficiency. No, it usually takes place due to some zinc deficiency. So you should take zinc in your diet. Thank you for giving your valuable three minutes. Thanks a lot.